then uh, so the child is going to be raised in a Swiss manner. If the child is a girly, she's going to marry or she's going to have a child with another Korean. And the child will be already will be already much more much more uh, the child will already much be much more uh, um, Asian looking and uh, same thing again the father will be sent away never sees his child again so um, Inside it's completely Swiss. You know. Well, this is one of the sporting grounds. He used to play basketball. Well, it doesn't look like basketball here. It's probably somewhere else. So this is still the school. So after five generations, you know, the, uh, the offspring looks like Korean as any Korean. But inside, you know, it's Swiss. This is what they do, did in the US. This is what they did in, uh, in Germany. Always. So this is the school where Mr. Kim Jong-in in Lieberfeld or Konitz where he went to school and uh, he left 2000, it's, only, it's not very long ago, well, he spent like seven years in Switzerland, well, why Switzerland, you know, why Swiss, a dictator of Korean, he speaks Swiss German better than English <laughs> well usually they don't show it it probably came out which I didn't like very much you know so yeah this is the the white the white nigger system excuse me my word I don't believe like this you know so ah this is why he played basketball Mr. Kim Jong Un so he spent like seven years or I don't know playing basketball here Uh, you imagine, uh, and all his brothers and sisters, two brothers and one sister, I think, they all went to school in, in Switzerland, in Geneva, Lausanne, and in Bern. So, he didn't even go to, like, an international school. He did in the beginning, so he completely switched to a Swiss school, where they speak, like, only Swiss German. Looks nice and clean, you know. Looks peaceful, but it isn't. No. You imagine, not so long ago, the dictator of Korea has been playing basketball here. I'll show you where he lived as well. A bit of rain coming up. Yeah. Well. Kim, I'm going to play some basketball. Yeah. So. That's where he was, yeah. Can you imagine uh, Mr. Kim Jong Un? Sitting here, chilling out, you know, drinking his energy drink or I don't know what, his coke. Sitting here, the dictator of North Korea in Switzerland. Yeah. I mean, nobody would choose like a, a school in Switzerland where they speak Swiss German. Well, I mean, the, the entire financial elite and nobility, they all go to schools like in in Switzerland, but they go to international schools, not a school where they speak Swiss German. They probably always have been speaking Swiss German, you know. So here's the other side of the school then. So there's the school again from the other side. Some nice, it's nice and green. Some nice mountains behind here. So 
it says to Stein Holzli. That way the dictator went to school. It's a little nice, isn't it? So here's the street, Hildegard Street, where the uh, the school is there. Where the dictator went to school. So this is where he lived, this here. And uh, just next to the school, probably a five minutes walk, or not even. It means the church street number 10. Just wonder if there's some more Koreans living here now. Probably. So here's a wine cellar. Yeah. Now what is this? Yeah, shots around. So this is where the dictator of North Korea lived. So if he turns left there and then right and immediately left, there's a school. It's maybe it's two minutes. So there's number ten, this is where he walks in. And uh, turn left here and then right and the school is there where the where the trees are, where the trees are, quite near. And this is the big street here. This one went to his house there, here, right. And here he went to school. And there were the shallows. He turned left, or probably some way here in between. It's what well, you can do it in one minute. So this is where the dictator lived. A pharmacy. Friendly Swiss people. Yeah, look at them. A zombie. Cheeseburger, McDonald's, a pizza restaurant. Yeah. This is called the white nigger system. Excuse me the expression, my black brothers. I'm totally on your side. So outside black or Korean in this case and inside white and Swiss. So a Swiss woman finds herself a Korean, have a mixed child and the Korean father either dies or gets extradited and never sees his child again, which gets raised by octagon. Then if it's a girl, she finds herself some Korean again and the same technique gets reproduced, only this time the fruit of the second generation looks much more Korean, that is from the outside only. Then three more similar generations and the outcome looks like real Korean like Kim Jong Un, but the inside is what? Well yes, white, and he even speaks Swiss German. <laughs> So it must be assumed that all the 800 participants of the GCSP program in Geneva are all the result of the white nigger system, which by the way had been experimented a lot too in the Nazi concentration camps, the Lebensborn program and surely the North Korean concentration camps. Uh, but the idea is much older and dates back to the days of Pharaoh. So you better not make any children with a Swiss, cause chances are fairly high you'll never see your beloved child again, as I had to find out the hard way. And no Swiss legal system will abide by the laws, as they were supposed to in octagon of lawlessness and Nazi Templar rule. You know, it's all about human processing, you know by uh, its eugenics and uh, having a farmed human race by the uh, by some certain Swiss laws of, uh, of modeling mankind. Now just look at the facts. Now why would a North Korean dictator speak Swiss German, spend seven years in a normal Swiss school and send his army officers for some war and assault rifle training at some bogus Geneva NGO. Well, here he is, Leonardo Conti, the uh, 
the head of the Lebensborn and the farming of the human race and you know doing the the black nigger the white nigger uh, program as well you know and, and having total control over human bodies and making a mix and and all sorts of experiments and this guy was Swiss this is Octagon he was the Reich Minister of Health and a Nazi general an SS general he was Swiss, Leonardo Conti, um, having total control over human bodies and doing all all these sort of things. You know, this, this is behind um, the Korean leader uh, speaking Swiss German. You know, Leonardo Conti, a Swiss uh, Nazi general working for the Lebensborn. That's what I'm telling you about. This is the real force behind it all, the farming of the human, uh, of, of mankind as a farmed race. Well, there he is again, Leonardo Conti and the origins of the Nazi genocide and, and you may live, you may not live, you know, and it's all Swiss, it's from Switzerland, it's Octogon. Uh, see my other film on the Swiss sadist uh, Leonardo Conti, and the same thing. This is a, now it's all related with North Korea, and the same thing happening there. So this is in Konitz. It's real near to Kim Jong Un from Switzerland. <laughs> Sixteen hundred and ten, with the famous, like the Swiss Templar's cross. So I just showed you the card was full. There's the bear, like the Blackwater sign, you know, with the uh, with the barefoot, Schwarzwasser. Uh, was that serpents? So this is in the same uh, town like, well it is all burned but very near to where the dictator lived. It's a sort of a part of a sort of castle which is there. Templars. Obelisk with the world domination and the devil. Always next to the water for Isis. Very old church. So this is all next to where the dictator, where the dictator lived. Now let's have a look at that grave there. It says Baumeister. That's a title in a uh, Freemason lodge. And Baumeister. Nobility. I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks very occult, you know, with the two. Pillars, I don't know what that is. Ja, ihr habt auch nun Traurigkeit, aber ich will euch wiedersehen und euer Herz soll sich freuen. So they're talking about the resurrection and the uh, uh, like life after. Baumeister, yeah, like means amazing. And by the way, Switzerland too had eugenics institutes practicing forced sterilization on young healthy people until 1996 and children's slaves in concentration camps until 1989 who were raped, beaten to death and starved to death just as in North Korea. They were called the Verdinkenda. So you can, I'll put it in the links for you. It says 1950 or something. Well, well that's not true. They did it until 1989. Octogon, 
has their dirty little fingers in any crime against humanity in the past, now and the turmoils to come.